Hi everyone, it's Mio here and I am so excited to show you guys how to make this adorable miniature box of macaroons. This tutorial is actually inspired by a blogger named Petite Delicious, which I'll provide the information below. And I actually end up making two boxes of macaroons. It does take a little practice to learn how to make these, but as you can see with the macaroons on the right, with some practice, it actually looks a lot better. Macaroons come in an assortment of colors, so this project can be really personalized for you. And if you know me really well, you know that I love to wear my craft items, so I turned this into a necklace, which I think came out really well. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and let's just get started. Start with a clay color of your choice and shape this into a nice flat pancake. Your pancake is going to be about three to four millimeters thick. With a clay tool, you're going to form little scrapes on the bottom to form the little texture on the bottom of your macaroon. You're going to notice that there's some pieces of clay that kind of fall off, but you want to stick it back on to make it look even more organic. The messier, the better. This will essentially form one half of the macaroon. You're going to make another half to form two halves of the macaroon. As you can see, I made several different colors to make my adorable little box. You're going to bake these halves in the oven for about 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Once they are done baking, you can take different colored clays to form the center filling of your macaroons. Once you've completed this step, put your macaroons back into the oven and cook them for another 20 minutes. And now it's time to move on to the box. With pencil and paper, I drew the outline of my box. I purposely did not leave any measurements down because this really depends on how large your macaroons are and how many macaroons you actually want in your box. As you can see here are mine, but I actually went through several different measurements before I came up with the box that I was happy with. This specific pattern ended up being the box that I chose. It's a very simple box that you just fold up the four sides and you form one half of the box. For extra detailing, I decided to use these scissors that have a nice little ridge to cut along the edges of my box to form a nice little ruffle where my macaroons will sit right inside. And to hold everything together, I'm just adding some super glue to the edges and holding the edges together to form the basic box that I have shown here. Alright, so here is what my box looked like with the macaroon sitting inside and I'm going to form the little plastic cover that sits on top. So I'm taking a Ziploc bag and I'm using the exact same pattern to cut out the same box pattern that I had with the purple paper. You want the top part of the box to not only be clear, but have really crisp edges. So the key point here is to make sure you fold each of these edges really well. And to make a really crisp edge, you should take a sharp object, I just used my nail, to form a nice little fine edge. I know it's really hard to see in this picture because it's clear, but as you can see from the glare of the light, they have really crisp edge just from making a really, really nice fold. It's very important to use a crisp edge because that way it looks more authentic and looks like a real box. Now to put all the edges together, you can use some fast drying nail polish or super glue to hold them all together and just take some scissors to cut off any extra edges that don't seem right. But if you don't want to make the clear box and you just want to super glue the plastic ziplock on top of the box, that is perfectly fine too. For some extra detailing, I decide to take a thin piece of ribbon, wrap it around the box and give it a nice cute little bow on top. Of course, your box of macaroons is all done and you can stop right here, but I want to take it an extra step and I'm going to add a tiny little tag onto my box. And this one says love and I just went ahead and used some eyelets to stick it on the very top. That guys is how I made my miniature box of macaroons. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and for more like these please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you want to follow me on Instagram my username is flyingmio and you can share your projects with me there.